नमस्ते कुर्नूल नमस्ते कुर्नूल ऑसम ऑसम सो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स लेट मी स्टार्ट विद द स्टोरी स्टोरी ऑफ माय मॉम एंड आई लव विद आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वेल इट स्टार्टेड अ कपल ऑफ इयर्स बैक व्हेन शी वांटेड टू अपग्रेड हर मोबाइल फोन सो वी इन्वेस्टेड इनटू अ फैंसी स्मार्टफोन विद वॉइस असिस्टेंट वेल like an inquisitive child i could see her scrolling the phone installing mobile apps and learning features day in day out at times skipping her meal as well so fast forward myself my dad and mom we were sitting in the living room enjoying sipping cup of coffee so my mom just jumps in and says can i demonstrate something to you of course why not well she takes out her phone hey assistant can you set an alert for me for 5 pm for my medicine the assistant says yes of course why not well i could see the happiness on her face a 70 year old lady jumping like a 13 year old that she has achieved something well that's not all she goes us to to my dad and says do you know the assistant this assistant is better than <laughs> well fast forward today why and how she is using artificial intelligence so basically we have a maid uh, she is from maharashtra marathi doesn't understand hindi and english so well my mom uses artificial intelligence to translate and communicate her with marathi so that's artificial intelligence right so that's the topic of my today democratizing ai so that ai is accessible to each and every one helping people at large solving the day to day problems anybody knows what is artificial intelligence yes. oh lovely great awesome you're a great audience thank you so much so ladies and gentlemen as we are stepping into the future are we stepping into the future yes. absolutely wonderful great thank you so much so as we step into the future i just want you to imagine it's a sunny day in 2030 as you wake up you ask your ai assistant how is the weather outside your weather assistant what it tells you this is the weather and not just about the forecast but also tells you which dress to wear based on your calendar and schedule is this possible ladies and gentlemen yes well, lovely let's go ahead that's not all it tells you wear this polka dot shirt because you're dating your girlfriend today or it say wear this handsome blue suit because you have a interview with mr kapoor and i've analyzed the social profile of mr kapoor who will be interviewing you that he likes the blue color is this possible ladies and gentlemen awesome great lovely as you step into the kitchen your ai powered refrigerator who's already ordered the groceries for you for the rest of the week based on your nutritional and who will say what values your likings lovely as you open the fridge you see something is missing hey where's my biryani assistant the assistant replies sir you had two samosas yesterday and your cholesterol level is high so no more biryani for you for the next two days only salad and juices so ladies and gentlemen as you step out you step into your self driving car which navigates you through the traffic i believe there is not inner traffic over here but let's talk about traffic in the bangalore and delhi metropolitan cities right so this gives you time this gives you time to go through your favorite podcast or maybe some channel over your virtual reality glasses so ladies and gentlemen is this a reality possible or not yes lovely i would say i would have said no if a similar looking santa in blue would have told me the same thing 3 decades back when i was doing my engineering so yes ladies and gentlemen as we are stepping into this future we are already living this future this future is not distant from us we are very close to this future but let's make the best use of these coming years so that by democratizing ai we can use and we can reach the right audience with the right message that's something which is very important over here that's my highlight so now ladies and gentlemen let me talk about the the current state of ai well we all understand ai which probably was a futuristic concept couple of years back is definitely a thing of the today and we are growing every day with the ai features 
couple of speakers who have spoken before me. Of course, they've talked about the various features and the benefits of the solution. So let me walk you through my own journey with AI. Can I? Yeah. Lovely. Thank you so much. So well, it started with the year 1996. When I was doing my engineering, so we had a subject called artificial intelligence, AI. Well, at that time, AI was not matured enough. The solutions which are available were not good enough to, to actually help the humanity. Yes, we were learning, learning Turing machines. We were learning machine learning. We were also had a concept of natural language processors. And yes, that was the time when we heard Mr. Gary Kasparov. Anybody know who was Gary Kasparov? The legend, the grandmaster of chess, who played the chess with the supercomputer. So well, that was a story. That was a buzzword. But I used to think, is that all what AI can do? Is that all what is possible? What next? What all is possible? Is that all just the machine for you know, fun learning games, etc.? No, that was not the point. The point was, what else is possible? That's when I, I thought, what about we add the human values? What about we add the human compassion to the artificial intelligence? That's when I came to a concept of artificial intelligence plus human compassion is limitless possibilities. But those limitless possibilities were actually limited in 1996. Fast forward in year 2012, when I was working in the AI division for this multinational company, so we were working for a solution for the healthcare where we were actually providing predictive and prescriptive analysis. So based on the multiple data, the data sets, data analysis, and the data patterns, we could actually predict based on the number of records that we have, analyzing millions of records, we could predict that this patient could develop heart attack in the next six years. So based on this prediction, the doctors could actually prescribe him the right measures. So that's not all. Moving forward, 2021, when I developed my own mobile application for helping the farmers in India. So these, this application has actually helped numerous of farmers helping them with crop yields, which is going better by 25% to 35% almost. So gentlemen, I have seen this progress, and I'm really proud to have witnessed this, this, prog this progress and the transformation of lives of thousands of people using the artificial intelligence. Standing in front of you, 2024, I see a drastic change that limited possibilities have actually become limitless possibilities now. But yes, further, what we need to talk about is how this AI can actually go deeper at a grassroots level, helping people with their day-to-day -day challenges. Not just a few people who are techno-savvy, but also people who are struggling, you know, who are facing challenges like poverty, illness, etc. So now, coming to the core point, what does it mean by democratizing AI? Well, it means giving access to the technology to each and every one, irrespective of their technical background, their socioeconomic status, or geographical location. Well, when we democratize AI, we can actually nurture the brilliant minds of people who have some idea. And by harnessing the power of AI, they can actually bring their idea into a reality. That's what we are looking for. Now you say, why democratize AI? That is a very important question. So I would answer this, that what I have experienced in my own experience of the last couple of decades by working in this field is innovation can only happen with diverse minds. So historically, we have seen that some of the amazing innovations have happened actually from the very unexpected places. So when we democratize AI and we provide the means of tools, education, resources, we can achieve limitless possibilities. So ladies and gentlemen, as the topic of this TEDx is, who will tell me what is the topic of this TEDx today? Transcendent, transcendent ripples, exactly. So this is the point. So we need to trans transform this transcendent ripples into an ocean of possibility, limited oceans. So that's what I want to take as a step for me. And also, I want everybody over here to take a pledge 
which I'll be just talking about later. So ladies and gentlemen, moving next, why? The second point of why democratizing AI is important. So as we understand, you know, AI today has a potential to level all the playing fields for us. So when we provide access to tools and resources to people at large, we can actually bridge this gap between the developing and developed communities. Also, it empowers the under-reserved categories of people who definitely have a problem, but yes, by empowering them with AI technology, AI resources, AI trainings, they can actually help themselves to transform their own lives and coming up with solutions. So just imagine a farmer in Maharashtra, you know, coming up with a solution how to have a better crop yield. Or maybe a student in Kurnool developing a mobile app to how to protect, how to protect the rainforest and the soil. So talking about what is required now, you know, what should we do in order to have democratization of the AI? So what simply I would like to start there is, so what all is possible, right? So definitely, first of all, we have to take care of the healthcare for the sick people, right? So for that, ways and means are which are possible. So first of all, something which is definitely a reality today is AI-powered diagnostics. You know, today, using the power of AI diagnosis, using the apps, machines, and the systems, any patient in a remote village can be detected using these tools. Because of the unavailability of a doctor or a proper hospital, this was not possible earlier. So this not just reduces the, the burden on the healthcare facility, but actually gives this power to that patient. Apart from that, telemedicine, I believe that's becoming a future now. Earlier, before COVID, people didn't knew what telemedicine was. So talking about telemedicine, right? Today, any patient and a doctor are remotely connected easily. Next, personalized treatment plans for the patients. Next, I would like to move to a very important point of how we can alleviate poverty using AI. So first and the foremost, you know, what are the challenges? So first of all, we can actually empower the microfinance uh, who can actually provide small loans to these unbanked population so that they can start up their own small business or use it for their emergency. Also, at times we have observed uh, this vulnerable population is not getting the right aids which were actually contributed by the government to them. So using the AI, that's something that we can use and the leakage of the resources can be minimized. So last and not the least, which puts my head in shame, ladies and gentlemen, is the woman's safety. Irrespective of all the limitless possibilities, irrespective of all the improvements that we have done, still we are not able to provide women a good, safe environment. Why do they have to live in fear? So ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to take this pledge that we, along with AI, have to work towards the women's security and the safety. Can I have a raise of hands? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. So I want, I want all to take this forward because this change is only in your hands. And trust me, you are in the right spot at the moment, studying in a university with the knowledge, the access to the community, and all information today. You are at the best place at the right time. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you all not just take this pledge, but work towards democratization of AI and start learning AI. Of course, the previous speakers have already shared about it, right? So I want you all to start focusing on this and consider what is the grassroots problem. We are not just talking about the content creation, etc. Let's talk about the grassroots problems and try to address that solution, ladies and gentlemen. So yes, the life is beautiful with AI and you, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much.